Hey kids, how's it going? Mr. Snyder here. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys some workouts that you can do at home using no equipment. Um, I'm gonna walk you through each one, talk about how we're gonna, how it's gonna affect our body, uh, what muscles we're gonna be using, and um, you guys can do this every day, you can do it every other day. Um, it can help you towards those 150 minutes of physical activity if you're having trouble doing it, um, especially on days like today where it's raining outside and you can't really get outside and um, exercise or run around. Um, so this is something good that you can do in the house. Uh, you can do it outside if it's nice too, but uh, make sure you're doing something. And all these exercises are gonna help your body in some way, so let's check it out. All right, so here we go. Uh, first exercise is gonna be 25 jumping jacks. Again, I don't need any equipment to jump jacks. It's gonna help my leg muscles, it's gonna build up my core muscles, and it's also working your shoulders and your backs and your arms. So if you start with your feet together, hands by your side, just like we do in class when we do our warm-ups, uh, we'll count out 25 together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then you can just kind of shake out your arms. Um, you can do 25 again, or you can take a break, get some water if you're at that point. But 25 jumping jacks. All right, so every time you're working out and you're, uh, All right, so whenever, whenever we're working out or doing something physical, uh, we gotta make sure we're drinking lots of water. So I have my uh, trusty Hydro Flask here that all of you guys love so much. Uh, mine is a 40 ounce bottle, so if I'm filling this up and I'm drinking it during my workout, this is gonna be enough water to hydrate my body, get my muscles all the energy it needs, and keep me healthy and safe. All right, so here we go. So now we got our water. Uh, make sure we're staying hydrated. We're gonna do a little bit, a uh, little bit of a different one here. Uh, we're gonna do jump ropes, uh, but obviously not everybody has a jump rope at home. So uh, just like when we use a regular jump rope like this one, and we're holding on to two handles and we're jumping, or we're holding on to both in one hand and we're jumping. We're gonna use our imagination, and by using our imagination, I'm not gonna use a jump rope. I'm gonna keep my uh, elbows to my sides nice and tight. Keep my hands out as if I was holding that jump rope. And then I'm gonna swing it, and as I swing it, I'm gonna jump. We're gonna do 25. Now, this one's gonna feel a little different for you guys. Obviously, uh, you don't have the uh, equipment hitting the floor, making that rhythm or pattern. So from the side, it's gonna look like this. Elbows together against our sides, hands are out. We're holding that invisible jump rope and it's gonna go like this. Together, you're bouncing on your toes. All right, let's see you guys do it. All right, so here's another workout that's good for our leg muscles, uh, good for our core muscles. It's called high knees. Uh, you're gonna do it standing still. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall with your back uh, straight. You're gonna keep your hands about a little bit higher than your belly button, and you're gonna bring your knees up to that. Okay, try to keep your hands still. I know it's hard when you're alternating. Your hands want to go down, uh, but keep them at. A little bit lower than your chest, uh, mid belly button, mid chest level. All right, we're gonna do 50 of them. Ready? Three, two, one, go. There you go, 50 of them. Make sure you're bringing your hands up to your knees. Sometimes you're not gonna get all the way there. That's okay, but try your best. All right, so for this one, guys, we're gonna go down uh, to the floor and we're gonna do uh, some planks. Planks are good for our whole body. Uh, core muscles, back muscles, arm muscles. 
uh, including your legs. So it's basically a full body workout that you can do in um, segments of 30 seconds or longer. Uh, so we're gonna set a timer on my watch. I got my watch on this time uh, for 30 seconds and I'm gonna try to do planks for 30 seconds. So when you do a plank, you're gonna go down onto your hands and knees, um, just like you're getting ready to do a push up. When you do it, when you come out, you're gonna keep your back flat. You can hold yourself up like this, or as I'm gonna do them, I'm gonna do them with my, uh, my forearms, and I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna keep my back flat and straight, and I'm gonna engage that core muscle. So ready, we're gonna start. Three, two, one, go. So we're gonna try to hold it for 30 seconds. Make sure you're tightening up your core, Keeping your back straight and breathing. Don't forget to breathe. The more you breathe during this time, the better your muscles are gonna feel. It's not gonna hurt as much. Try not to talk like I am, uh, cause that makes it harder. All right, that's 30 seconds. Everybody can stop or you can keep going with me. I'm gonna try to do 45 seconds of it. All right, that's 45 seconds. So we're gonna stop there. We're gonna take a break. Um, you guys can get a drink of water if you need it. Um, I know it's, uh, pro some of us are probably getting uh, a little heated up here, so if you need a towel to wipe some sweat off your head or uh, just take a little bit longer of a break, it's your time to do it. Um, I'm gonna stop my timer, I'm gonna reset it, and uh, I'm gonna go back in for another 30 second plank, because uh, this is the timer I wanna do that. So, let's see. All right, so my timer's reset on my, on my watch. Um, if you guys have a, a smartphone, you can put a timer on that. Obviously, you won't be using it to record yourself. Um, but if you do and you wanna share your videos, that's great too. Um, so here we go. We're gonna go down onto our forearms, keep my back flat, start my timer, and I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds. You guys are doing a great job. Just keep holding it. Make sure you're tightening up that core, engaging the core. It's gonna help your back, your shoulders, and your core muscles a lot. All right, that's 30 seconds so we can stop, take a break, uh, get a drink of water, catch your breath. We're gonna go on to our next workout here. All right, so here we go. We're back on the floor again. Uh, we're gonna do push-ups this time. Push-ups are gonna work on our uh, shoulders and our chest muscles, our back muscles, and also those core muscles. So pretty much the same thing as our planks. We're just putting a little bit more work in, uh, more strenuous. Um, if you go slower, um, expanding your muscles and contracting your muscles, uh, slowing that out, it's going to uh, really make those muscles work harder. You're gonna feel it more. Um, it's going to be a lot better for you than if you just go really fast through them all. So make sure you're taking your time, going all the way down, and coming back up to straight arm, okay? Um, again, keep your back flat. You don't want to do a uh, mountain, and you definitely don't want to do a seal uh, where you're up towards the sky. So um, if I turn this way, just so you can see for a minute, I'm going to hold out, come up into my plank, and then I'm going to go down and back up. Down back up. Keep my back flat, my feet are together, my hands about shoulder width apart, and I'm just going down, back up. Again, no mountains and no seals. All right, so um, I want to do 20, 25 push-ups. Um, I got my water here, so when I'm done this, I'm going to take a few sips of water to rehydrate my muscles, uh, really get them the oxygen and the nutrients that they need. Um, so here we go. We're going to go down, I mean, we're gonna go up into our, our push-up position. We're gonna go down.
20. All right, five more. There's 25. And like I said, the slower you go, you're uh, expanding, contracting those muscles, you're gonna feel it a lot more. So, this is our chance. I know I'm a little out of breath, but I'm gonna take a drink of water. And we're gonna get ready for that next exercise. So, here we go. All right, so I'm done with my water. I've caught my breath a little bit, and I'm ready to go on to my next exercise. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna stay on the floor since we're already down here. Uh, we've done planks, we've done push-ups. Now we're gonna do some crunches or sit-ups. Um, so either way, if you, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see, uh, but we're gonna really engage those core muscles. Um, if we're coming up all the way, maybe put your feet underneath of something so it holds you down. Uh, if you just wanna do a crunch, you come up a quarter of the way. As long as you're engaging that core muscle, you'll be okay. So, here we go. So we got, we got our knees bent. Um, we're gonna put our feet together, maybe, maybe a little bit apart uh, for more stability here. Um, again, you don't have to come all the way up if you don't want to. If you just wanna come up a quarter of the way, that's fine too. So, I'm gonna slide forward here so I'm in the camera. I'm gonna keep my feet where I said, a little bit apart. Uh, knees are bent, I'm gonna lay back flat. I can put my hands flat on the ground if I'm gonna do crunches, or I can bring them up to my chest. Don't hold on to your shoulders, just bring them up to your chest and hold on to your hands themselves. Uh, we're gonna do 15 sit-ups. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, and like I said. We're engaging those core muscles. They don't have to be perfect. I know my feet were coming off the floor a little bit because nobody was holding them. And I couldn't get them underneath my couch because my couch goes all the way to the floor. Um, again, go all the way down until your back hits the floor and then come up uh, into your sit-up or your crunch. So you can do that again, repeat it. So 15, you can do it in multiples of uh, two or three, so then you're having 30 or uh, 45 sets and uh, we'll move on from here. All right, so we're staying on the floor for this last one. Uh, it's our last one on the floor, don't get excited. We still have more to do once we stand up. Um, but we're gonna go down into our, our plank or our push-up starting position. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do on the floor mountain climbers. So we're gonna go out into our push-up or plank position and we're gonna keep our back straight. And then we're gonna bring our knees up to our chest. And we're gonna do that for, uh, 30 seconds, so I'm gonna again use my timer. You guys can use your smartphone or a watch or uh, put it on your computer. So I'm gonna start my timer. As soon as I'm down in my planks, my back's flat, my arms are about shorter width apart, and we're gonna get started. So go. All right, so that was about 32 seconds. Uh, roughly about 60, 62 mountain climbers. So again, you're alternating your legs, bringing those knees up, keeping yourself held up in that plank or push-up position. This one's gonna get your heart pumping and it's gonna get you breathing a little bit heavier. So go ahead, do that one. All right, now that we're done the mountain climbers, uh, we're gonna take a few sips of water here. 
we're gonna stand up because we're gonna end. We're gonna end with a little cool down. So our cool down, uh, we're gonna do some stretching and some arm circles. Uh, so we're gonna start with arm circles. We're gonna go forward. So put your arms out, keep them straight and flat. And you're gonna start out small. And you're just gonna go forward, doing small little arm circles. It's not very big. Uh, you're not gonna feel it yet, but it will start to, you'll start to feel the burn in the back of your shoulders, maybe across your chest. Uh, get a little bit bigger. Both arms are going together at the same time. Okay, a little bit bigger now. We're not doing as big as we can yet. We gotta, we gotta work up to that. Okay, now as big as we can. Big as we can, it's gonna be slower. We don't wanna, we don't wanna tear anything or hurt any muscles or uh, anything along the way. So, just big and slow. Okay, we're gonna stop. We're gonna go backwards. So our arms are going backwards. Still in backwards arm circles, starting small. The backwards ones, that's where you're gonna feel a little bit more. Make sure you're keeping those back, uh, your shoulders engaged, so you're gonna keep it tight back there. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. And as big as you can backwards for a few. All right, good, shake it out. Shake out those muscles. <clears throat> All right, so now we're gonna stretch out our leg muscles. So uh, I'm gonna bring my leg up, I'm gonna balance on one foot, and I'm gonna pull up on my toes. So I'm gonna engage my, uh, my quad muscle here, uh, my thigh. So I'm gonna engage that thigh, and I'm gonna lean forward just a little bit. Not too much that I'm falling over. If I need to, I put my arm out to balance and I'm just gonna hold it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. I'm gonna let that one rest, and I'm gonna go onto the other foot. So I'm gonna balance on the one foot I was just holding onto, and I'm gonna bring that, uh, my left foot for me, up to my back, put my arm out if I need to balance. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we're gonna rest it out, but I'm just gonna show you from the side what that looks like. So when I bring my foot up, I'm pulling it up so my heel is on my glute. So my heel's gonna be on my bottom, and I'm just gonna rest it and lean it forward. That's what it's looking like where I was facing the camera. This is what I'm doing from the side. All right, so. Now we're, we're stretched out there. We're gonna put our feet a little bit farther than shoulder width apart. We're gonna go down to the center. Hands are together. Not everybody's gonna be able to get to the floor on this one, that's understandable. But if you can, make sure your hands are next to each other and you're touching with just your fingertips, holding it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now those fingers are touching the floor. My knees are straight. They're not bent. I'm not, I'm not um, bending my knees or giving up my knees. I'm keeping those engaged and straight. So now I'm gonna go down to my left side. Again, my hands are together. Hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down to my right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, now I'm gonna bring my arm above my head and just slightly pull it out, stretching that shoulder on and tricep and bicep muscles on my right arm. Do the same on my left. You don't have to do that very long. That was just five seconds on each side. Okay, shake out your arms. Oh, stretch out your back. If you just lean backwards just a little bit, expanding your arms outward, bringing your chest forward, pushing your back out. It's gonna expand your chest, so anything that's tight across your chest is gonna stretch.
stretch out, you might feel it uh, releasing some pressure or uh, hear some cracking. Totally normal. All right. Um, that's that's going to be it. Uh, unless you want to do some more uh, yoga poses, we can. We can do uh, the tree pose where you're going to put your foot on the inside of your thigh, hands kind of above your head. You're going to hold that 10 seconds. And, and then you're gonna go to the other side, thigh, and good. Now, at this point, we could do the airplane where you're gonna bring your one, you're gonna stand on one foot, bring your other foot straight back, lean forward, hands out. 10 seconds. Okay, and last one, we're gonna do the airplane for the right side. All right, good job. So that's gonna complete our workout for today, guys. We had um, our full body workout with our planks and our push-ups. Uh, also working on our chest muscles and our, and our core muscles there. Uh, we had sit-ups, we had high knees, working on our legs, we had jumping jacks, and we had our yoga and stretching at the end to cool down. Make sure you're hydrating. Like I said, uh, get water or your favorite sports drink. Uh, make sure you're hydrating during this because your muscles need that um, nutrients and liquid uh, along with oxygen. So make sure you're breathing. You're not holding your breath during any of these poses or exercises. All right, catch you guys later.